Training Module 3.2 Soil Profile Characteristics Aquacrop simulates the interaction between crop and soil, which is also affected by management. The learning objective of this training module is to know the required soil profile characteristics. To describe soil water balance and soil water retention in the root zone, we need to know what is the soil water content at saturation, field capacity and permanent wilting point. To describe soil water movement, aquacrop requires to know what is the saturated hydraulic conductivity and also what type of soil it is. Now the soil can be composed of several horizons and hence for each of those horizons aquacrop requires the soil physical characteristics. So we know what is the soil water content at saturation, field capacity and permanent wilting point and what is the hydraulic conductivity for each of the soil layers. From that information aquacrop is going to derive other soil characteristics. Tau, which determines the size of the soil reservoir in which water can be stored. Reu, which is the readily evaporative water, which is required for the calculation of soil evaporation. By knowing the soil water content at saturation, field capacity and wilting point, aqua crop can determine if that is a sandy, loamy, silty clay or sandy clay soil. That information is required to calculate capillary rise together with the KSAT of the different horizons. KSAT also determines the drainage coefficient, tau, and the curve number to describe surface runoff. The required soil physical characteristics can be measured in the field or lab, or you can use indicative values or pedal transfer functions to derive them from soil textural information. On the internet, you can find the hydraulic property calculator, which can be downloaded for free. It requires information on the percentage of mass of clay and sand, which is in this example 20%. And from there, it will identify that it is a silty loam soil and gives you indicative values for wilting point, field capacity, saturation, it calculates the total available water, and for the saturated hydraulic conductivity. In this computer, the software to estimate the hydraulic properties from soil texture is installed. Let me first change the units to metric units. Here I specify the mass percentage of clay and the mass percentage of sand. In this example, 18% and 40% respectively. The software recognizes that this is a loamy soil with these particular characteristics. Now the Soil physical characteristics are not only determined by the mineral composition of the soil, but also on the organic matter. So if I put more or less organic matter in the soil, you will see that the numbers changes. The same is true for compaction. If my soil is more dense compacted or more loose, then the characteristic change as well. So by specifying the texture, organic matter and compaction, I can get a good estimate of the soil physical characteristics required by aquacrop. By clicking on the soil profile button, I get access to the file management menu in which I can look or update the soil profile characteristics of the existing file or in which I can select or create another soil profile file. If I click on the Select Create Soil Profile button, I get access to the Select Soil Profile File menu 
in which I can select an existing file or create a new file. Finally, if I click on the create file, I am in the create sole profile file menu in which I can specify that the sole which I'm going to create has the name loam tree. It consists of a tree layered loamy sole. So the number of sole horizons is three and the top horizon is more something like a sandy loam and it has a thickness of 30 centimeters. Then the second sole horizon is really a loamy sole with a thickness of 50 centimeters. And the last layer is more something like a silt loam with a thickness of two meters. By clicking now on create, Aquacrops allows me to adjust the default values assigned by the model. I have different tab sheets. In the top tab sheet of description, I can change the description. The second tab sheet, characteristics of soil horizons, here I can change the assigned default values by Aquacrop. Here I see the soil water content at wilting point, field capacity and saturation for the different soil horizons as well as the hydraulic conductivity. If I assume that the lower layer has a KSAT of only 400 millimeters per day, I can alter it here and for example the wilting point of the loamy layer is more something like 11 volume percentage, I can change them there. Additionally, I can specify that there is gravel in the soil. For example, in the middle layer, I might have 20% uh, gravel and aqua crop will reduce the volume in which water can be stored by 12%. There is also the penetrability of the soil layers, if due to soil compaction, the root zone expansion rate is slower, I can specify that here. For example, for the top layer, I take 80%. It means that aqua crop will reduce the root zone expansion rate by 20%. In this tab sheet, soil surface, I can see the soil surface characteristics assigned by Aquacrop. By looking at the hydraulic conductivity, Aquacrop found that this soil or the top layer belongs to hydrological soil group A of the USDA and assigned it a curve number of 46. I can override that if I have more information. The same is true for the readily evaporable water. Aquacrop has given it a value of 7 millimeters. In the last tab sheet, capillary rise, Aquacrop displays a curve which shows the potential capillary rise for different depths of the groundwater table. That curve is there to calibrate capillary rise. For example, if the groundwater table is at 2.5 meters below the soil surface, I can read from that graph that aqua crop can transport about 2 millimeters of water per day to the bottom of the root zone, which is 1 meter thick. If from field observations, I know that this cannot be bigger than 1.5 millimeters, I can update that with these spin buttons. This tab sheet is only used to calibrate the capillary rise. The actual depth of the groundwater table is not a soil profile characteristic, it is a groundwater characteristic and I have to characterize that in the characteristics of the groundwater table menu. By returning to the main menu, Aquacrop will notice 
that there were changes. If I say yes, the soul file is updated. And now I have a new soul profile file, loam tree soul, which is a three-layered loam soul with the characteristics I just have specified.